Welcome to exercise 27 of 28, getting started with programming uh, with Code Academy. I am the coding teacher and I'm here to teach you how to code. And the purpose of this exercise is, I think the most valuable part here is actually the review on the left. So, you know, we're, we're recapping over the stuff that we've learned. We learned about strings, numbers, booleans. Uh, we've learned about variables. We've learned about comparisons between numbers, like with great, less than, greater than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. We've learned about modulo. We've learned that the, uh, about the length attribute of, of strings. We've learned about the substring um, function, substring method within string objects. And we learned about console.log. So what do they want us to do here is really simple. On line one, they want us to create a variable my color, give it a, a, a string value. And my color is going to be vomit green. And then on line two, Bring the length of my color to the console. So console.log. I misspelled that. Apparently, I can't talk and type very well at the same time. Console.log my color.length. Do that. It's 11. And that's really it for this video. So might as well put the next video in here too. Conclusion part two. We have learned a lot. Okay, so if else statements. The other very important thing that we learned about here in, in this first intro section was about if else statement. So we have to write our own if else statement. And that's a, this is a good exercise actually because one of the things that trips students up the most is syntax with if else. So this is the syntax. If open parentheses, close parentheses, right? Here's where your condition is going to go inside those parentheses. Then you open up a brace and you close the brace. And this block of code between the braces is what's going to run whenever the condition is true. Then you have your else, you open up a brace, you close the brace, and this block of code, you know, that, that belongs to the else, is what's going to run whenever this condition up here was not true. So they're asking us to write our own if else statement. The only instructions that the result of evaluating the statement is a lock to the console is of I finished my first course. If, and then here I put if 10 is greater than 4, that's going to be true. So console.log is I finished my first course. Let me get rid of the extra quotes. And else, this part is going to be false. So I'm going to put console.log I didn't finish. And then save and submit code. That is it for the Getting Started with Programming course. I hope you guys found this informative and I was looking ahead at the curriculum and there's much more challenging stuff to come. So I'm looking forward to making those videos and helping everybody out. I'll see you guys next time.